Welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer. My name is Andrew Eaton from St Luke's Walls End and chaplain to the University of Newcastle. I'm praying today on Awabakal land and with my parish and the cathedral community pay respects to elders past, present and emerging and commit ourselves to the journey towards reconciliation. Our psalm this morning is 105, verses 1 to 22, and we begin on page 396 of the prayer book. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 105, verses 1 to 22. O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Tell among the peoples what things he has done. Sing to him, O sing praises, and be telling of all his marvellous works. Exult in his holy name, and let those that seek the Lord be joyful in heart. Seek the Lord and his strength, O seek his face continually. Call to mind what wonders he has done, his marvellous acts and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham his servant, O children of Jacob his chosen one. For he is the Lord our God, and his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word that he ordained for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, and confirmed it to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, I will give you the land of Canaan, and to be the portion of your inheritance, and that when they were but few, little in number and aliens in the land, they wandered from nation to nation, from one people and kingdom to another. He suffered no one to do them wrong, but reproved even kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Then he called down a famine on the land, and destroyed the bread that was their stay. But he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold into slavery, whose feet they fastened with fetters, and thrust his neck into a hoop of iron, till the time that his words proved true, he was tested by the Lord's command. Then the king sent and loosed him, the ruler of nations set him free. He made him master of his household, and ruler over all his possessions, to rebuke his officers at will and to teach his counsellors wisdom. Then Israel came into Egypt. Lord our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? 
Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth and share his risen life. He lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray for the First Peoples of the Diocese, especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Dakanjung, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. And as we enter into this new day, we lift up to the Lord all that we have planned for this day, all the people we will meet, all the decisions we will make all that weighs heavy on our hearts, all the people we love and the people we have trouble loving. We pray for unity in the church. We give thanks for and pray for the Anglican communion, for the wonderful diversity within that communion for our brothers and sisters in all corners of the globe, especially at this time in the Anglican Episcopal Church in Japan. Ecumenically, we pray for Orthodox churches and in the National Church for the Diocese of Northwest Australia. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, with Nikki, for Assistant Bishops Sonia and Charlie, for the Diocesan Chief Executive, John Bariga, and Senior Executive Assistant, Alison Delmazzoni. We give thanks for parishes across the diocese, for schools across the diocese, praying particularly for Scone Grammar School, the parishes, parishes of Beresfield, Thornton, Brankston, Greta, and Lochinvar. For new discernments to vocations, we pray that every parish is praying for the raising up of new vocations. We pray also especially for examining chaplains in their work and for those diocesan ordinands in intensive formation. In the face of ongoing climate crises across the world. We pray for organisations working for environmental awareness, including Anglican EcoCare and all those parishes striving to bring awareness and work 
for the sustaining and renewing of God's good creation. For the prayers we make in the silence of our hearts. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>